everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. As usual, let's make the greetings again. A resounding good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your response has truly resounded me. Thank you for energy boost. I hope the energy level will remain constant till the end of this meeting. Fellow Toastmaster, welcome guest. With great pride, me, Toastmaster Krishna Murari Powell, undertaking a role of Sergeant at Arm. And like to extend warm welcome to each of you on a journey together of 21st meeting of World in Toastmaster Club. Let's make a moment together. Please gently close your eyes. Place your right hand just above your heart and repeat after me. At Toastmaster, At Toastmaster we provide, we provide a, supportive a supportive and positive experience, and positive experience in, which in which member are, member are empowered, to empowered to develop their communication, their communication and leadership skills, and leadership skills resulting in, resulting in Greater self confidence, greater self confidence, and personal growth. And personal growth. Thank you very much. Gently open your eyes. You can lower your hand as well. And let's take a few seconds to make your cell phone on vibrate or silent mode, please. Okay, thank you very much. Now I would like to inform you that some ground rules of the meeting for its smooth functioning. So please maintain the quiet environment, no side conversation and minimize unnecessary movement during the meeting. Also, I would like to inform you that we are not talking about any sexual, politics and religious during the meeting. Thank you very much for the time and now let's welcome our presiding official, a talented lady with humble personality, Toastmaster Smriti Tuladar. Thank you, Thank you, Toastmaster Krishna, taking the role of Sergeant Arms, and as usual, starting this meeting exactly on time. I'd like to add a few more words about the Toastmaster International. It is a non profit educational organization that helps members empower their leadership skills and enhance public communication skills through a worldwide network of clubs headquartered in Englewood, Colorado. Toastmasters began as a series of speaking club organized by Ralph C. Smedley while he was working at Young Men's Christian Association in Bloomington, Illinois, United States. The first unofficial Toastmaster meeting was held in March 24, 1905. Talking about the history of Toastmasters Club here in Nepal, Kathmandu Toastmaster is the first ever official club which was established in 1991 and it is also one of the oldest club in South Asia and District 41. Good afternoon fellow Toastmaster, dear guests, new and renewal members of Whirling Toastmasters Club. I am Toastmaster Shweti Tuladar, Charter President of Whirling Toastmasters Club and the presiding officer for today's 21st meeting. As the presiding officer now, I would like to formally open this meeting with this gavel. <coughs> For a long time, we do have some guests here in our club, so it's time for our guest introduction round. Uh, may I request a handsome guy from here for his introduction, please? Hello, uh, my name is Joseph Kosovo. I am uh, uh, working in the department as a sales supervisor in the hospitality sector. And it's been more than eight years now that, I, that I have been involved in uh, working. Uh, that's it. Thank you, Toastmaster Jonas. And the guy in front, please. Hello everyone, 
myself Promise Nupani, uh, working as Enterprise Sales Assistant Manager as a in Enterprise Sales. Uh, since I'm, I have a long journey in Warling, it's been uh, around 17 years plus. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah. One from this side, please. Good evening, all. Thank you, Skriti Toastmaster Skriti, for inviting me to this meeting. I'm Ali Swester. I recently joined World League as Chief of Audio and Compliance Officer for March 1st. And it's my privilege to be here in this meeting. It has been four years since I attended any Toastmasters meeting. So, thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, I'd like to. Okay. Sorry. Uh, hello, everyone. It's me, Vijay Packer. Uh, and I want to thank you, Sweetie Ma'am, for this opportunity. Uh, regarding uh, my department, I work in the HR department of the office. And it's been, I think, almost two years that I'm associated with all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vijay. Uh, I'd like to add a few more words about our guest. Uh, Mani Shrestha here. Uh, well, when we I had informal communication with him, he had been a Toastmasters member a few years back. So we hope to see him more often here for his guidance. Uh, I think you mentioned about completing level three. Yes, sir. Level three in pathways. <laughs> in pathways, yeah. And we are just starting our level one here. So we'll look for your guidance in days to come. Thank you so much for joining us today and all the guests and members here. Thank you once again. Um, now without delay, I would like to call someone here who is going to conduct this meeting from here onwards. Toastmasters of the day or Toastmasters of the evening, whatever you'd like to call, Toastmaster Abhishek Sharma. And introducing him, uh, he says Abhishek Sharma. Embracing the thrill of competition and the wonder of discovery, fond of sports. I'm sure today we will be able to discover something new uh, under his program. So let's welcome Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Abhishek, with a huge round of applause. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Welcome you all to the 21st meeting of World Link Toastmaster Club, which is going to be the last meeting. Of course, not the last, but the last for this year, that is the year 2018, where we embark on a journey of new challenges and endless possibilities that lie ahead of us. As we gather here together, I feel honored to be serving as the Toastmaster of the evening for the today's meeting. Furthermore, as a treasurer of the World Link Toastmaster Club, I would like to congratulate all of us for the renewal of our next term and the new year is going to be a little bit more fun with the addition of new members. So, I would like to ask you all to give them a big round of applause, please. As we stand on the threshold of a new year, it's time to reflect renew and set some new targets. Today's theme, New Year, New Beginning, invites us all to embark on a new journey, to face new challenges, to face new changes, and to explore all the opportunities that lie ahead of us. For the ease of our new members and so that each one of us could gel with one another well, I have prepared an icebreaker game. The game is Human Bingo. I would like to request all of you to look at the back side of your agenda seat. Yes, you can see a Human Bingo and you can see six topics written there. I would like to encourage each one of you to introduce yourself to one another and find someone who matches that topic and write out his or her name. It is going to be a little chaotic but please maintain some silence and please introduce one another and find someone who matches that bingo. Game has opened up a 
portal or a bridge to know each other better. Uh, without further ado, let's move on to our today's meeting agenda. Generally, our Toastmaster meeting is conducted on three sessions. That is the prepared speeches, table topic session and the evaluation session. For today's session, we don't have prepared speeches and we are expecting our area director who will be joining us shortly for our education com induction session for our new members. So, for the first session, today we will be having a table topic session. For the table topic session, I would like to invite very dashing and enchanting personality, <laughs> Toastmaster Puneet. Please give him a round of I would like to share my recent experience regarding table topic session. From the club, I was selected for an area contest which happened in Apex College. There, I went without any expectation. Me and Abhishek was the participant who were representing our Toastmasters club. I was the last participant to speak. I was pretty nervous. I basically didn't understand much of the topic that I was given. <clears throat> but I just won that contest fortunately. Very fortunate I was to be winning that contest. Then the next contest happened recently. That was the division contest. It happened in Ratu Bangla Toastmasters Club where I was the second last participant at that time. The stage was pretty big because that was in their auditorium. I went there, the topic was very simple this time. Live the life you love was the topic and I blacked out. The guest at that time, one of the guests at that time from our club was Toastmaster Smithy. She will know better how I did because I don't remember anything. <laughs> I really don't remember anything. I blacked out. Somehow I managed to cross the qualifying time, which was one minute, and I ended up going back to the place where participants were sitting. That time I realized this was nothing that I seek for. And the area contest that I won was truly a fortunate one. It was not because of my speaking skill. Now, I know the importance of table topic session. Mind you, very difficult. Because table topic session gives you an opportunity for impromptu speaking. You, have, you can develop your impromptu speaking skills here in Toastmasters, especially in this session. Also, every speech must have an opening, a body and a conclusion, even if the speech is very short. So, as a table topic master of this session, I would like to invite you all to this table topic session which I am going to conduct right now. I am Toastmaster Puneet Manandar. Currently, the club secretary will be conducting this session onwards. There are a few ground rules in this session. The table topics, each table topic speaker will get an opportunity to speak for one to two minutes. To get qualified, they have to speak for at least one minute and they should not exceed two minutes, 30 seconds. Otherwise, they will be disqualified and they will not be eligible for the Voting for awards. With the theme today, New Year, New Beginning, I will also follow that theme and give the topics related to the same thing. Might be different. And I have planned today that I am not going to invite any of our old Toastmasters from this club. So, all the speakers that I will choose and I will give topic to them. And they, were, they are all going to be our guests or the new Toastmasters member. So let, let's start. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Then. The first table topic speaker that I want to choose for today would be 
our new Toastmaster, Toastmaster Busy. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Polit. So, I would like you to choose a number from one to four. Three. Three. So, your topic is new beginning. The floor is yours. Okay. Thank you. So, okay. Thank you. Thank you for the topic. So, basically, uh, uh, new beginnings. Uh, the word is still clear that you know we really start everything fresh and everything. So. This year also I was planning to have something new. Uh, what should I start? I was thinking like uh, recently, what should I start a new part or new projects or anything. So, but then somehow the things got clicked like in my past experience. Every time I put something in the new beginning list, you know, that we always used to go for one or two days only. <laughs> Last time I was uh, five years back, six years back. Actually, I think I want to uh, lose weight. And then just I start for three, four days, and then I start gaining weight again. Then uh, next year I started doing this. Uh, I thought that I'll start a gym on New Year Eve, and then I went there. Gym was so packed. I, I was enjoying that day, and in three days, you know, I stopped going there. And then like uh, now after this, all those uh, you know my commitment with new beginning things. Now what I feel is you know somewhere. All these things, there's a need or date to start. So it's every day a new beginning. You know, I can start everything fresh. So for this year, the new beginning, actually, I want to focus on my mental peace, my mental health, and my mental capacity. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster. Thank you. Is it? So we all know a new beginning. It's very hard. Everything is hard at the beginning. You only realize it gets easier as you move on. So let's move on to the other participant for this table topic session. Our next table topic speaker would be Toastmaster Rubina. I'd like to welcome you. <laughs> okay. You have to choose your choose the number between one. one, two, and four. One. One. So you need so the topic for today, your topic for today would be a failed New Year resolution. Thank Good. you so much. All right. A failed New Year resolution for me was so many things actually. There's so many my, uh, so many things in my mind. But one thing I really want to be clear on my failed resolution would be um, I think that would be wait wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I need to think about something. I think I can see a person right here where I can reflect that failed moment, the failed resolution that I held in my life for the very first time and it's actually connected with the organization itself that was somewhere somewhere in the you know uh, inside the branches but again if i reflect back to the failed resolution i failed to be me myself and collecting all those memories which helped me towards demotivation, you know, uh, the curt words that people were saying about those kind of things, I feel like, I felt like I failed in every, in all of those corporate worlds that I lived in, I felt to be me myself. But now, I think the failed resolution is my strength. I picked that weakness to the very strength of mine. So, and I believe that this very organization will build me further for that uh, resolution to be my part. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Rubina. 
for your speech on a failed resolution. How many of you have failed on your new year resolution? Can you raise your hand? Oh, there are two of, two of them who have not failed. <laughs> they, they don't have <laughs> I will tell mine. I will tell mine. My every new year resolution has failed till this date. And the most frequent new year resolution of my life was quit smoking. And every year it failed. <clears throat> I always started right. I used to smoke and drink all night on the eve. And I will say I will quit the smoking <laughs> from one day one. That day I always succeeded. I always succeeded. But the very next day I failed miserably. There were times that I could not smoke for a week. But what what started everything was there would be a party. Someone throws a party to you. You get drunk and after you get drunk, you forget that you had a resolution and you started smoking and then it starts again. So we all have been part of this field resolution thing. To our, let's move to our third speaker for today. I would like to welcome Jonas, dear Jonas, please welcome. <laughs> I'm not sorry, die everything. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you have to choose two or four. Oh, exactly. Now you know everything. I just want to know behind the one, two, three, four, what might be the questions that you have decided to make? I'll no, I'll tell, tell this uh, logic and okay. this algorithm later. It's a complex algorithm actually. That's <laughs> everything in my oh, oh yeah. Okay, that's fine. So I will go with four. Four. New Year, family with family or friends? You have to choose one, please. That's not a tough question, I guess. Uh, uh, thank you for the opportunity to to uh, uh, to. Let's see. Okay, I, I will come to your questions. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 belonging to the Nevari family, and I just uh, I'm from uh, Dolikhe, so we just have a uh, uh, festival going on for uh, like uh, biscuit zata. So basically, during the during uh, this festival, we will celebrate uh, usually celebrate with uh, my family. So uh, uh, so uh, so basically, in the um, uh, uh, Nepali New Year. Uh, I usually spend my time, quality of time, with uh, my family rather than friends. So what else? Anything? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. As I said, it's rather a difficult choice to make. But I remember my younger days. When we used to spend this new year thing with family, then as we move on to adulthood, the fam we became distant, distant with the, our family. We don't like, especially I, uh, I didn't used to like my father because what, what can I say? Our always fathers are dreaded. They will always say, don't do this, don't do that. And you always try to avoid your father. That I used to do in my teenage years because there's a saying: you always think the, your father is wrong until you become a father. That is one thing I realized later, and even more so now because my two sons they have grown up to an age where now they say, "Baba, you are wrong. Baba, you are wrong." Continuously and every day, every morning after they wake up. So now I realize what my father went through at that time. So uh, sometimes it's family, some years it's friends. Those comes in phrases for, as, as for me. At, at very young age, you go out with family, then you come with friends. And now it's mostly, sometimes it's colleagues of your workplace or your family. 
mostly your family. By the, by the way, this New Year Eve, I don't have any plan with anyone. My dad and mom, they are going on a date. I am going to watch their shop on that eve when everyone else is going to get drunk. So this is going to be a very different new year for me. With everything that I said, now let's move on to our final topic for today. For that, I would like to call Promise to the stage. Thank you. Now you don't have a choice. Welcome to this stage. Because there is only one number. That's number two. Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, because followers are always have the advantage. Second mover is advantage. Okay. So, you, you have the best advantage. Okay. Yet, you are coming at last. So, you have seen everything and everyone. So, your topic for today is <coughs> You joined Toastmasters on a New Year Day. <coughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Pony sir. For your uh, choice. Choice. Thank you. Uh, actually, uh, I saw I have a I saw different uh, journey in life. Uh, since I'm working from last 17 years, I have passed uh, different uh, levels in sales. Be either being salesperson, leader, supervisor. For right now, what I feel that uh, somewhere I'm lacking. Maybe uh, that is not in personal, I mean professionalism, but maybe in personal, personal, personal way, somewhere I may lack it. So I think that uh, I have to join to master from this new year beginning. Uh, I have heard some uh, resolution over here, or, or uh, failure, false resolution also here uh, regarding new year. But I have already planned that I will be a to master for this new, this will be uh, for, for this new fiscal year. New year, uh, and uh, mm, this is my commitment. I that I've, I have already taken from my heart. Still, uh, I got chance to uh, uh, speak over here. So, uh, Toastmaster, uh, I'll be a Toastmaster for uh, New Year, and that will definitely uh, support me or help me to um, uh, explore myself. Uh, behind the borderline where we where I am today. Thank you. Indeed, Toastmasters is a platform where we are here to develop our leadership and public speaking skills. So I am pretty sure it will help you. With this, we have come to the end of the table topic session. I would like to ask our timer if all the table topic speakers are eligible for voting. Yes, all the speakers are eligible for voting. Then let's vote. Let's vote. <laughs> I can't. And the person who spoke Can also you? can't vote. Can you the name? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> ah, thank you. I would like to recall the name of the speakers on a Chronological order. Sorry, chronological. Serial. Serial order. So, speaker number one was our Toastmaster BJ. Speaker number two. Toastmaster. Huh? Toastmaster. So I. Yeah, that, that's why I don't speak on that part. Toastmaster Rubina. And third speaker is Jonas. Jonas Shrestha, no? No. and the final speaker is post, uh, sorry, future Toastmaster Promise Nibani. Okay. Thank you everyone. This was a wonderful table topic session and I would, I am very glad this time none of the Toastmasters spoke, the older Toastmasters, the AZ Toastmasters. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks everyone who spoke their heart out. Now I am handing over this floor to our Toastmaster of the evening, Toastmaster Odyssey. Thank you Toastmaster Kunit for conducting the Neighbor Topic session so well.
And also, I would like to thank Toastmaster Punit for encouraging our new members and giving them opportunity to uh, participate and uh, own their impromptu speaking skills. With this, we have our area director today with us, who has graced us by our presence. So, give a big round of applause. And while the ballot counter is counting the votes, I would like to encourage all of you to turn to the back side of our agenda seat. Okay. And on the bottom, you see a question written right there. Please, I would like to fill out that. So, with this, we will be moving on to the next session. That is the education come induction session for our new members that is going to be held by our area director. Are we ready with the presentations? Okay, thank you to Sasadini and thank you to all the enthusiastic learners of World Inc. Toastmasters Club whether you are guests or new members or old members, as the Table Topic Master said, <coughs> we at Toastmasters, we continue to learn. That is one important mantra of Toastmasters. And um, he said about the induction. So I think we, I did an induction about pathways session last time. So I'm not here to do the induction of what, Toast, uh, what pathways in Toastmasters is. So just to give you a quick snapshot of what pathways is, Pathways is like the educational tool, it's the technology that we use in Toastmasters to progress ourselves. We all need, you know, we use this particular tool and as soon as you become a member, you get your login details and you can access the website. So only members are allowed to use this tool. So if you're not a member, you will not be allowed to use the tool. And using this tool will help us enhance our communication as well as leadership skill as mentioned earlier by our previous Toastmasters. So today I'm here to share my experience. So I've been a Toastmaster for about four years and it has taken me four years to complete one path. So there are around 11 paths in Toastmasters which you can choose from as soon as you become a member. And I chose our one path out of the 11 and the speech title today is something like the show must go on but the question that i want to ask all of you is must the show go on yes or no yes of course nobody saying no okay all right then so do you want to know how to get six pack app in six minutes anyone would like to know raise your hand <laughs> no, do you want to know? Do you want to know that? Yeah, you want to know. You want to know. Who else wants to know? Okay, so if there is enough time at the end, <laughs> I will reveal it to you. <laughs> because I'm not here to tell you about the six pack abs. In order to know the, about the six pack abs, you know, you should have witnessed, witnessed my earlier speech, which was all about six pack abs. So here today, I'm going to share about my journey of Toastmasters. Now Toastmasters Smithy and I had an interesting conversation a couple of hours ago and in the end, somewhere at the end, she, she said, I should have started or we should have started Toastmasters at Worldlink two years ago. And I said, you know, you're doing fine, it's okay. And same thing happened to me as well. I joined Toastmasters around four years ago. But I had the opportunity to join Toastmasters two years prior to that and I kept delaying myself. I just thought, what is this Toastmasters, what are these? I never figured it out. And one day I really, I went to the meeting and I really loved how things were going on and I decided that I will become a member. So I took on the membership immediately. Two or three years, two or three days later, somebody sent me a message on my WhatsApp and said, TM Soros, you are the vote counter for our upcoming meeting. And I was like, okay, <laughs> what does a vote counter do? So I did my research and uh, trust me, it took me one week to prepare for the role of a vote counter. And on the day I was prepared, I went there, I took on the role and I loved it. Because you know what happens 
what a vote counter does, you present the awards, awards. and everybody is taking picture of you with the winner and your photos are flashed all over the group after the meeting is over. So I felt as if I hosted an Oscar ceremony. So I really loved it. So I went to the VP education of the club and I said, can I do this again? Because I thought, you know, I didn't do very well. I wasn't prepared, so I want to do this again. And she said, no, you must go on. And she said, you'll be the timer next week. And I hated it. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. <laughs> because while everybody is enjoying listening to people, doing everything, the timer is there, timing everyone, showing their green, yellow, red flag, and that one and a half hour just passes by and you have learned nothing, while the rest of the people have enjoyed and learned so much. That's exactly what happened to me. By the end of the meeting, I was like so drained that I thought I would never take this role again in my life. Then came the role of a... That's why I was telling you earlier, it's empty, take it, take it. And I'll tell you why. This is the role that I love the most. Because as an accountant, you get to pick the flaws that people have. And when I was the accountant in a regular meeting, you know, people that I used to look up to, fantastic speakers, I figured out even they had flaws, they had errors, and they were no, <clears throat> nothing different than me. That person who I used to look up to was just like me, had so many flaws. And I really liked that job. Then came the role of a grammarian, and I always thought I do not have good English, and the vice president of education said, no, you don't have to be good in English to be a grammarian. You just have to pick out the good uses and the bad uses. That's it, simple. I went on, I took on the role and that was fantastically done and suddenly I realized a month had passed and then I had to give my icebreaker speech. And as a Toastmaster, you all are assigned with a mentor. Now, how many of you have not been assigned a mentor yet? How many of you do not have a mentor yet? Do not have a mentor. If you are a Toastmaster, if you are a new Toastmaster and you do not have a mentor, one, two, three, four. Four people do not have a mentor yet. So this is something for the <laughs> executive committee of the club to look into. So as soon as you become a Toastmaster, as soon as you become a member, it's very important that you are assigned a mentor because this mentor will help facilitate and guide you in this journey of learning. So I approached my mentor as well, who was almost half my age, and he guided me really well for my icebreaker speech. And this is my icebreaker speech, which where I talked about this particular boy. I shared my story of how this, I don't know if you can see it there, but if you really look at the eyes of that boy, he's really, really scared. So I talked about this scared little guy and how this guy ended up being this guy. Moving on, after, and this is by the way, to all the new members, you all have to give your icebreaker speech where you will be talking about yourself. You can do anything and introduce yourself to the club. Then moving on to the next project was Speech with a Purpose where I talked about inner child within all of us. So some of the key inspiration I took from children where that children are resilient, they never give up, they are so quick to forgive and forget, right? You make them cry and the next moment you make them happy and they are so forgiving, they will just smile back at you. So these are some inspiration that I took from children, incorporating in my second speech. The third speech, uh, the project was on research and presentation. And for this particular project, I did a research on coffee because I had an interest in coffee, I'm a coffee lover, and I presented a speech on coffee. Now the good thing about this project was that by the end of the project, I figured out that coffee is a very profitable business. So I thought, you know, why not start my own brand of coffee, which I did. So if any of you are coffee lovers here, you want proper organic Nepalese coffee beans, either the beans or grinded ones, you can contact me. contact me, I can supply you with proper organic 
Nepali coffee beans, which is not mixed with any other beans. Moving on to level two. So some of you are probably wondering what is happening here. So in Toastmasters in Pathways, we have five different levels. So I've completed now my level one now. So we're moving on to level two. So the first project on level two was on leadership and the second project was on, on communication. By the way, the rare thing that you see is the title of my speech. And each and every title of my speech has something, some meaning towards what I presented from that particular project. So leadership and communication was where I talked about my communication and leadership style and how it affects people around me. So moving on to the third project, mentorship. This is where we talk about the importance of having a mentor, becoming a mentor, and you know sharing our experience as a mentor or a mentee. And for this particular project, because I had so many mentors from different different clubs, uh, namely Kusum Toastmasters Club, I even went to that particular or Banishor Toastmasters Club, and I gave this particular speech to acknowledge and thank my mentors for helping me out in my Toastmasters journey. And uh, that really was a fascinating, you know, project for me. Now we're moving on to level three. Project one, which was on reaching consensus. Now I know all of you know what the meaning of consensus is. And this is particularly the speech title was North Mandu at 9 a.m. Where I spoke about how the club North Mandu became North Mandu and why the time Saturday 9 a.m. was decided. Now if you look at these flyers, you can see me there. But there's something strange about these flyers. Look at the name of the club. It's called Golf Utah Toastmasters Club. We started as a Golf Utah Toastmasters Club and a few meetings down the line, we, the member of the club decided that we do not, we no longer wanted that name, we wanted something else, we wanted something which meant something, so we decided to change the name of the club and decided on the time and the day as well. So that is the poll and the responses from all the charter members, 16 of them where 87.5% agreed on this particular day and time. So this is the project where I shared as a speech on how we as a group can reach on a consensus. The second project on level three was all about body language and this particular speech was the speech that I can remember where I was very, very animated. You see, I've seen, um, you know, some of you have witnessed the speech speech contest last time where you saw speakers going everything and yeah, doing this and that and all sorts of acting so I did the same <laughs> because for this particular project you had to show your body language your body language had to mean something so I was very very animated in this particular project which actually helped me to complete my next project which was all about inspiring an audience the second the third project of level three is all about giving a speech which actually inspires an audience. And if you look at the title of my speech, I chose a title that would already have inspired the audience by just reading at the title. Martin, Martin Luther King, the junior. Fourth project on level, uh, the sorry, the first project on level four was all about motivating others. And in this particular project, I or this particular speech, I spoke about the road to TLI. Once again, uh, lots of jargons here for the new members. TLI is Toastmasters Leadership Institute. So every year, two um, leadership training takes place in Toastmasters. And for this particular project, I talked about how I was given a responsibility to organize uh, an event and how I, how I led an event, being a very, very new member, how my, you know, um, area director at that time trusted me and gave me that responsibility to organize an event and how I did it with my team members and how I motivated them to carry on this event. The second project of level four is one of the most interesting, interesting project in the entire Toastmasters pathway. This is my favorite. It's about difficult audience. Now look at you all listening to me, you guys are a very, very good audience. This doesn't happen everywhere. 
Normally, what do we get? You are speaking and then somebody is talking, somebody is doing that, somebody is making noise, somebody is disturbing. Actually, we had, we witnessed this particular project just only a few weeks ago where Toastmaster, uh, sorry, who was it? Toastmaster Anjana, but the disturber. The person who was disturbing her was, 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 was constantly disturbing her and she was having a very difficult time to give her speech. And this particular project is really, really interesting. I really hope that some of you will get there very, very soon. And if you are in this particular project, please, please, please do invite me to come and disturb you and make your, you know, 10 or 15 minutes here on the stage of Nightmare because <coughs> this project will actually help us to figure out how to control an audience, how to manage an audience, especially the difficult ones who constantly poke at you, who constantly disturb you. How are you going to make them listen to you when they do not want to listen to you? So, please do that. Do invite me. Okay, so this is level four done. And by this time, I was, uh, so by the time I had completed my level three or level four, uh, I was only around, you know, um, I was already around two or three years through my Toastmasters journey. So it took me two to three years to complete this. Then comes level 5, which is the monster of, of all. So as you can see, you know, the level 1s are very, very simple and easy projects, very easy to give speech on. You can prepare it a couple of days prior to the day event, and then you can just come and give a speech. As you move up level 2, level 3, you need more practice, you need more preparation. It takes a lot of time and energy. So to be honest, for me, I it took me six months to complete my first project because here, see, it was all about team building. So you can you cannot just build a team and give a speech. So what I had to do was I had to build a team, conduct an event, finish up with that event and come back and give the speech. And for this particular project, I talked about a concert that I organized about one and a half year ago with a team of enthusiastic people like me. And, you know, lots of preparation, lots of planning, and then finally we did the concert and I came back and I did my um, speech where I talked about a Toastmasters in action and how I, how Toastmasters actually helped me, you know, to actually carry out that huge event where it was witnessed by around three to four thousand people. Now, when we talk about, you know, doing this event, this is also a small event with 10 or 15 people on a weekly basis. But actually it was this setting that actually helped me because I needed a PR manager. I needed a membership who could go and sell those tickets, the PR who could handle all the PR stuff. I needed a vice president education in my team as well, doing the concert, who was good with the <coughs> stage, the artist, the music, the tech part. So that was my VP education and so on and so forth. And how Toastmasters helped me carry out this concert. The final, the final project, this is the final project of level 5 and also uh, you might have realized this in level 1 I had 3, uh, the curriculum has changed now, you have 4 projects in level 1, then you move on to 3 projects, 3 projects and as you move up to level 4 and 5 you only have 2 projects but these are huge huge projects. The last project was about speaking professionally and this is where I talked about that 6 pack ads going back to this particular project. So for this particular project, I was fortunate enough to be invited as a guest speaker at Sciences Open House event where I spoke. Now I'm not a professional speaker, but I spoke on that day as if I was a professional speaker. And I took that stage and I spoke for around 22 or 25 minutes, the time slot that was provided to me in front of around 100 people and it felt amazing you know at the end I thought oh wow all my four years of journey doing all these projects this is what it meant so imagine people that scared little boy that I talked about in my first icebreaker speech going on to speak as if he was a professional in front of a huge audience so this was the last project of my 
level five, making me complete the entire pathway. So pathway is really interesting. And, oh, but most of, most importantly, you know, lots of memories created. So these are some of the some of the flyers that I have been featured as a speaker. No, not taking on the role of TMOEs or general evaluator or any other roles. But these are some of the flyers of me featured only as a speaker throughout the journey. And out of all the thousands of pictures that I have created with my fellow Toastmasters, this one is my favorite with the gang of North Mandu. So, we built lifelong relationships and some of you probably are wondering, oh, you're done with your level 5, what are you going to do? <laughs> what should I do next? What do you think? What do you think? Start again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly! Start again. And that's what I've done. I'm now moving on to my second pathway. I'm done with my first path. I'm already moving on to my second pathway. And I've already completed a few levels of my second pathway as well. And probably I'll be done with my second pathway. Not in four years this time, people. It will not take me four years. The first pathway took me four years. But I will guarantee you or I will assure you that soon you will see a flyer of me completing my second pathway in less than a year maybe. I hope that makes sense to all of you. Okay. Thank you everyone. So that is my journey of Toastmasters. But the most important thing that I want to highlight here is the pathways. The pathways gives us that direction. So if you are enrolled into your pathways, if you already have your login details, even if you do not have a mentor, go to the website, enroll into the pathways. It might be a hassle for the first timer. So if you need help, seek help from the others who have already enrolled into pathways. If you have enrolled into the pathways, then you can follow the proper curriculum of Toastmasters. And if you do it properly, then, you know, the learning is there. The help is there. It's totally up to you to get it. So let's move into that direction that Toastmasters has given us because we are paying a huge amount of fee and in return we are getting that pathway enrollment. So let's do it. By the way, the second pathway does not come free of cost. <laughs> they charge $20 for the second pathway and from there onwards. So thank you everyone for listening to me so nicely. You have not been a difficult audience. <laughs> if there is any questions, I will take it if I have time. Any questions? So this didn't sound like an educational, did it? No. Education seems boring. Sounded more like an inspirational session. Whoa! <laughs> I like that, I like that. By the way, that inspiring your audience is also another very interesting uh, speech in Toastmasters where you have to go and inspire the audience. Can you do it? Can you not do it? Well, at least we can try. And if you fail, so what? You can do it again. Any, any other questions? Or any other remarks? <laughs> I'll take those remarks yeah, as well. It was good. Um, I really liked the session. Uh, the story you told about your whole uh, Toastmasters journey. I was inspired actually. Okay. <laughs> my brother is inspired. Do you know that you are my brother? Yes. Okay. Why did you not tell me last time? Okay, anyway. I just so we'll take that after the we'll take that after the meeting. But um, which project are you in? Which level are you in? I'm in persuasive influence. Level one. Level one. Project. Project. I'll, no, I'll be giving my project to Okay, fantastic. So Good luck, you know. By the way, FYI, I am a very slow learner. And that is the reason why it took me four years to complete my pathway. I've seen Toastmasters who completed pathways in a year or even six months. So if you're a fast learner, if you want to do things quickly, you can complete it within six months or even a year. It is possible. It's just that I took my time. I did it slowly, steadily, because, you know, I was not in a rush. I just wanted to do things properly my way. So I just took my time and it took me four years to complete it. So it's totally up to you. And that is another great thing about Toastmasters Pathways as well. It's, you know, you choose, you decide, you decide your pace as per your capacity. Okay, so thank you very much everyone.
for being such a good listener. I hope we have lots of. I hope we have lots of <laughs> cross masters from Worldling who will be completing their pathways soon. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Toastmasters Soros, for walking us through the journey of his Toastmasters. From joining the Toastmaster Club to taking different roles and completing different projects and throwing in a marketing for his coffee beans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's Toastmaster Soros for you. Always inspiring, charming and witty. Yes. And also I would like to uh, thank Toastmaster Soros for reminding us uh, to uh, join our new, assign our new members with the mentors. That is, of course, we will do that. Uh, and I see some of the overwhelming faces in the new members uh, while Toastmaster Soros was explaining about these, all these projects, levels. Please, I would like to assure you all that you don't have to worry because being the 21st meeting, we still, some of us are on the level one, project one or at most we have gone to level 1 project 2 so you have time to catch up you will do it uh, you can do it yes uh, and uh, moving on uh, before the session i had asked you all of you to write something on the back of your agenda sheet have you done that yes and with this i would like to encourage some of you to please uh, express what you have written please raise your hand anyone interested Yes, please give him a big round of applause, uh, Toastmaster. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, yes. me and my family are blessed with new member, Mr. Pranav, as a son. So we are very <laughs> <Pranav. laughs> <laughs> So we are uh, grateful with this incident. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing us the thing that you are. Uh, that you really enjoyed this year yeah. and I had mentioned another topic also that is what are you going or what are you looking forward for next year those who have that uh, question or topic mentioned in their agenda please I would like to express your thoughts on that what are you what are you looking forward for next year nobody had that I have that okay please uh, Okay, I want to promise Steve Man, like he mentioned about the new family member and grateful being for that person. Uh, mine is quite similar, looking forward to the coming year. Um, as everyone knows, I'm also a new mother in this process. I'm still a new mother. Yes, I'm still, yeah, I'm still a new mother. New member next year? No. <laughs> and. Uh, being a mother, I release, I'm the one who spends least time with my daughter. Uh, it's my mother who spends more time with her and my husband as well. So whenever normally, whenever I come office, my mother takes care of my child and sometimes my husband takes the role. So, and in the due process, I only spend time in the evening. Most of the time it's while I make her to put her to bed. So this year I'm looking forward to spend more time with my baby daughter. So that's it. Anyone wants to go? Yours, please. Mine? Yeah. <laughs> I had the question, the previous question that Toastmaster Pran Promise had, which was what were the things that I was grateful for the year 2018? Uh, there, there was one major change in my life that happened in 2018. End of almost end of 2018. After five years in a, in the same position, I now am in a, working in a different position in this company. So a new a new challenge, a role that I have never played in my life uh, in this whole journey in worlding. So I am quite looking forward to fulfill that role. Uh, two of my colleagues are here, Rosen and Toastmaster Rosen and Toastmaster Anil. So they are with me in this new role and also this thing, this for this it might seem, seem a negative thing but it's, it's the thing that I am very grateful for that I froze and I failed at the Toastmasters speech contest. So that made me realize 
what actually a public speaking thing is because going just going to that contest we realize that it's all different ball game all together so that failed attempt i will definitely take take it as a very positive thing for me that happened in 2018 thank you thanks to us Thank you, Chief Master Sunit. Indeed, it was quite an exhilarating experience. I myself being the participant there and sharing the stage with Chief Master Sunit, I can assure you that it's quite different while talking in front of an auditorium, a full house auditorium in a pin mic on the spotlight. That is quite a, uh, quite an experience. Uh, with this, I would like to ask for the reports. At uh, first, I would like to ask for the timers report thank you to smash to abhishek i'm going to present today's timing report our meeting was started at exactly on time that is 4:15 uh those smash krishna murari probably took 2 minutes and 52 second presiding officer those smash to smriti tulada took Uh, 4 minutes and 9 seconds table topic master toast master punit manandar took 19 minutes including uh speaker's time okay <laughs> moving on to uh table topic speakers speaker number 1 toast master vijay pagura took 1 minute and 17 seconds speaker number 2 toast master rubina took 1 minute and 45 seconds Speaker number three, Toast Master Jonas took 55 seconds. Speaker number four, Potential Toast Master Thomas Nepalani took one minute and 32 seconds. During education session, Toast Master Area Director Toast Master Sir took 24 minutes. That's it from my side. Thank you. Thank you, Toast Master Sir. Suraj, yes. Suraj for the timers report. And moving on, I would like to ask Toastmaster Roshan for the R counters report. Thank you, Toastmaster. Toastmaster Abhishek uh, used balls with more than twenty times. Over used more than five times. Repeated words three times. Toastmaster Suraj to post with her. Four times over long pauses, two times other education one time. Table topic master uh, toast master Puni uh, use pause for more than five times over use for more than ten times. Repetitive words five times over long pauses two times and other education one time. Table topic speaker toast master Vijay to pause for her two times over use word more than ten times. Repetitive words more than three times. Those master Rubina uh, used pause filler more than five times. Overused word more than five times. Repeated word more than five times. And overlog pauses more than five times. Table topic speaker three. Those master Jonas used pause filler more than twenty times. Overused words more than ten times. Repeated words more than five times. And overlog pauses more than five times. Those master Pranesh used pause filler more than twenty times. Overused words five times, repetitive words ten times, over long pauses three times, and all the recitation one time. Our area director Toastmaster Soros used pause for uh, more than five times, over overused words less than ten times, repetitive words three times, and over long pauses one time. Toastmaster Smriti on the ending session, I only got to point out those. Uh, Your pause fillers were three times and overused word two times. That's it. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Roshan, for a such a detailed report. And we are at the almost at the end of the meeting. Uh, and the most fun part, the awards. <laughs> and the ballot counter is responsible for that. Before moving on to the awards, I have uh, prepared some trivia regarding a new year. So I'll be asking questions. Whoever uh, responds first has a gift from me. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. 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 Uh, the first first question goes like this: 
हु वॉज द पर्सन हु इन्वेन्टेड और स्टार्टेड द नेपाली कैलेंडर दैट इज द विक्रम संवत कैलेंडर विक्रम आदित्य प्लीज गिव Yes. What is the This gift? is the gift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still have two more questions left. Okay. Don't worry, we still have the chance to win that. Yes, you can participate. Okay. <laughs> 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 the next question is from The next question goes like this. Besides Nepal, which Asian countries also follows the Bikram Samvat calendar? India. Bangladesh. Bhutan. Bhutan. Yes, yes, yes. Toastmaster Rubina, please give her a big round of applause. I want to give. I want to give. I want to give. Okay. One last chance at the chocolate, right? The last question goes like this. Na yogesh. <laughs> Which month on the Nepali calendar is equivalent to January 1st on the Gargesian calendar? January 1st? Yes. January 1st? January. January month? Yes. Okay. Uh, push. No. Push. Push. Nope. Nope. Yes. Mag is the Mark. correct answer. Please give it. January 1st. बैलेट काउंटर फॉर टूडे टोस्ट मास्टर प्रतीक वी ओनली हैडन So, did we vote for the better role taker? No, no. So we are only we today we have only award for the better topic, table topic speaker. So since there are just uh, one winner uh, for today's session, so I have little bit. Can I can I can I contest the last question? January first falls on <laughs> Surat Pus Priya Rasi. No, you cannot because we cannot contest. गैप सो today i found something new uh, first of that was the new members <clears throat> second the new structure of the meeting <laughs> i didn't expect that because we as a role takers were uh, first of all we were we were about to we were allowed to uh, tell the members about our roles but i was waiting for that but <laughs> <laughs> <Just> like this <yes. laughs> and second of all uh, the inspiration session as i said earlier it was good i think i was inspired and third and the last uh, part of this meeting uh, for our new members it's never too late to start up because when i joined toastmasters uh, i really couldn't speak uh, how i am speaking right now it was really hard for me i took the roles again and again i gave my first icebreaker speech i'll tell you about my first icebreaker speech when i was on the stage for my first icebreaker i just learned by heart the whole speech so there was a point uh, in that session where i saw the green flag and i blacked out just as toastmaster punit said so my suggestion for new members uh, is that do not pay attention to the time or number of hours or number of grammatical mistakes that mistakes happens it is a part of our life 
the thing that matters is how I how we get up and learn from those mistakes and move to our goals and be a successful person. So now further without further ado, <laughs> I would like to <coughs> any guesses about the winners winner? Is a new member. He's a new member. He's a new member. He's a itself was a new beginning, so it was a new beginning for me, and then it was a big one. <laughs> the new beginning and all those things. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Pratik, and congratulations to Toastmaster Vijay and all of us, uh, those who participated. Uh, participating in a table topic session on the first attempt is quite a task. So kudos to you for doing that and uh, we are at the end of the session, session for closing remarks I would like to ask Toastmaster Punit. Before that, uh, for this the new year, the new beginning and the joining of new members, let us take a resolution that we are going to complete, not the resolutions like Toastmaster Punit <laughs> that we are going to continue. Let us all take a resolution that we will conduct a weekly meeting at Toast Worldly Toastmaster meet, uh, Toastmaster Club and we will uh, be open to take any roles, any challenges and any speeches that come ahead of us. Thank you and for closing remarks, I would like to welcome Toastmaster. What a wonderful session this was. Thank you Toastmaster of the evening. I would also like to acknowledge our area director. Your session was amazing. Thank you. And I would also like to thank all of our new members and speakers. Yes, I know what it feels coming to the stage for the first time and speak, especially in the language which we are not used to speak regularly. Thank you to you all. I hope, we all hope to see you regularly in our meetings. Uh, thank you to all the other members who have listened carefully. Thank, thank you to all the role takers. Thank you to our XCOM members. And finally, thank to me for this closing. <laughs> so, I would like to close this session officially with our gavel. <laughs> just wait, just wait. We this is not over yet. Yeah. We have few more things to do. First of all, we would like to, I would like to call all of you to the stage here to take a group picture. And? And, of course, there is a wonderful <laughs> banana chips <laughs> waiting <laughs> us upstairs with some coffee and tea. Please, everyone, join us on the stage. <laughs>